Okay, so I know we've been talking, having this ongoing discussion about right side versus left side, but here's what I thought last night. You guys are volunteering. You guys are putting your bodies on the line for something you believe in. You're really, well, already willing to risk blisters, hypothermia, any number of things in this cause. I don't want to stand in your way. If you guys want to say, on, if it's a little bit riskier, but you guys want to have that extra interaction while people are coming towards you, that's fine. I'm Jean from Stratum. I'm Ella McGrail, also a student. I'm Franny Shaw from Mansfield, Massachusetts. I'll be driving today. George Emily I'm from Webster. Michael from Boston. And I'm Gail Murphy from here. From, from here, here. And, and she is our wonderful pastor. Uh, It has been a joy for me to meet some of you, and um, I am so proud of our faith communities that they have come together to host you here. It was a big effort from a lot of people. So God will go with you, and hold you, and keep you, and love you. Amen. Bless you all. Amen. Thank you. Do not run on the ice. One, two, three. 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 Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. and looking at us skeptically, I came in, I said, uh, Granny D and the librarians and, and the director were like, yes, we will help you. What do you need? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. We need four seconds for the new Oh, did I didn't oh. bring cut. Oh, we did let the cut. There's no four seconds? There's four seconds. Oh. <laughs> So, Miss Mary, Ms. Mary, we are, are all going to serenade you with a round of happy birthday. So, <clears throat> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So, what uh, Stam Stampede is doing, uh, which is uh, funded in a project of Ben Cohen from Ben and Jerry's. Uh, is we're going to do a little bit of monetary jujitsu where we're actually using uh, money to fight money in politics. So we are stamping currency, and our goal in New Hampshire for the primary is to stamp 10% of the money. First question, true or false, corporate contributions to American political candidates were first banned by Congress in the post-Watergate reforms of 1974. All right, how many say false? Wow, impressive. Why do you say false? Well, I said false because I assumed, without any knowledge, that it would have happened earlier, that there would have been some sort of regulation. Somebody would have awakened earlier, yeah. right? <laughs> now the ringer can say, Pitchfork Ben, ben Tillman. 1907. <laughs> 1907, Pitchfork Ben Tillman, who was actually a foe of Teddy Roosevelt, the Democrat from the South, 
actually put forward a bill and it got passed in the Congress that absolutely banned corporate contributions. For an entire century, we had a ban on corporate contributions. So when you're thinking of how bad Citizens United is, the state of California has now taken the lead. The state of California last year enacted a new law in which they said we're no longer going to pay any attention to whether or not you call yourself a political action committee, an independent super PAC, a 501c4. If you put $50,000 into a California campaign in any way whatsoever, you got to register and you got to disclose. And the folks here are, are going to just imagine for a moment that you're a reporter. So get your microphones ready. You're from WTF. Right? So you got your microphones ready. And you're going to ask, the presidential primary is a year away. What's important to you? I take the example of, of course, taxation, where we rich people pay lower taxes and you poor people, you average people. And that's a horrible situation. So my number one concern is to ensure democratic elections and a taxation system which ensures that we, the wealthy, pay our part. Oh, well, thank you very much. That was, that was very concisely stated. And I um, you find that difficult. Yes. Yeah. What was what was difficult? It's really open ended. Why was it hard? It was just open ended. Okay. Yeah. You're trying to be concise. Mm. So, so you want to be concise? Is that? Yeah. So it was hard to be concise necessarily. Yeah. What, what else made it difficult? Hard to say everything. Well, that's a concise. It's hard to say yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, because you want to say everything. Yeah. yeah, what's important to you? Yeah, oh my God, you know. Like, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've attend. We're here at the Epsom Library because we're attending the town hall meeting. Okay, um, and let me introduce you all uh, to Jefferson Lincoln. <laughs> Jefferson. <laughs> Jefferson. <laughs> My name is Jefferson Lincoln, and um, I am just so happy to be here at the Epson Library because I just love coming to New Hampshire because the people in New Hampshire care so much about democracy. People come out on a cold night because they want to get engaged, because they want their voices heard, and I just have to tell you that that just is somebody who grew up in this country. This stirs my heart. So <laughs> and, I, and I think, you know, when we talked about sort of the horse race, right? Is it about the horse race for us, or is it really about making sure that we're interjecting our issue into the debate? Um, <laughs> uh, the vast majority of people in America, and I was going to say 96%, but I, you know, I didn't know if I should. Yeah. Say, um, think that the corrupting influence of money in our political system is a major problem, like what you were talking about. What is your plan to deal with that problem? Yeah. Okay. That's, good. All right. and that's pretty close to what the rebellion says is the one question. So I think that's really, I think that's really good. I'm very concerned. I'm rich, but I don't get all these tax breaks. I don't need them. We need taxes. We need to support our country. All the things you tell us that you want to do takes money. And I am the classic person who has the money. If Bill gets up and says that in a town hall meeting, a reporter who hears this story says, this is interesting here. <laughs> tell me about yourself, Bill. You know, where are you from? Where do you live? How did you get to be so rich? You know, and it becomes, and then this story of this guy who is a, one of the 1%, but who believes that the 1% should not have the advantages that they've got, becomes a story in the newspaper. Al Gore, um, when he was running for president, there were a bunch of AIDS activists got behind him at a oh, campaign yeah. event and dropped some banner. Yeah. Right? And put pressure on the Clinton administration to change their policy about generic drugs well, for AIDS activists, yeah, right? So they thought, oh, well, maybe he's not going to take questions at this rally. We're just dropping <laughs> a banner and actually made a really big difference. Made a big difference. Uh, Coming across uh, uh, the state house lawn, uh, why, look, it's Rosie Roosevelt. Can't Woo! Rosie, 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 Rosie. <laughs> Rosie, I'd like you to meet this, this gentleman over here who wanted to talk to you. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Paul. 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 You know, 
I have a little business here in town, and I'm, I'm sure some of you can relate to what it's like to have a business here. And, you know, what really gets me is that my little business pays more taxes than GE, and yet GE collected $8 billion in subsidies. I want you to stand in front of all these people and tell us you won't take a dime from GE and those bastards. What's your business <laughs> You know, we employed a handicap. So what, what we try to do is we make these little yo-yos, and <laughs> you know, it used to be that these folks wanted to- Is that to the yo-yo shop here on, on Main Street? Yes, it is, yeah. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, keep up the good work. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Rosie. Thank you for Rosie. Rosie.